My name is Dharmendra Kanani. I'm Director of Insights at Friends of Europe Think Tank. I think the recent European elections were significant on three levels. One, we had the highest turnout in nearly two decades, which I think was really significant in terms of the the power of the project to potentially reconnect with people. Secondly, I think the other important thing was that we saw that the traditional strongholds of party politics didn't actually uh, win out on the day. So you had the centre and centre-right not having the same power base um, uh, as before and have, have been for decades. Thirdly and most importantly, the surge of green power. I thought that was the most significant effect on the elections and also a key message to politicians across Europe that actually tackling climate change is more of a priority and more important to citizens than ever before. I think the, the election results create a certain set of opportunities and challenges for Europe both in terms of the institutions that govern it, but also for citizens. Um, I think some of the traditional party lines that have existed, I hope will change. Um, what we should be looking for is a grand coalition of the centre and the left to be able to come together and make sustainability and climate change the biggest issue for Europe. I think it's, it has the potential to be the driver which reconnects citizens with the project in the same way that the importance of the project after the Second World War became an issue and an importance globally. I think the issue of climate change is a global emergency and we can see actually the importance citizens are paying to that issue. And I think if Europe and its politicians get their act together, they have the opportunity to really reconnect with citizens around how we create a sustainable future for everybody. The challenge will be that people will operate against party lines and actually really not change their behaviour in terms of what's expected of them and actually the kind of fresh approach citizens are demanding from the institution. We conducted a survey of 11,500 citizens across Europe. We asked them what are the top three priorities for them for the new EU mandate and they said security, jobs and tackling climate change and those are the top three priorities for them and I think the Greens need to think long and hard about how do you combine people's desire for safety, people's desire for jobs and people's desire for a greener future and people do not compartmentalise themselves and what I mean by that is the message for them is try and make uh, a different kind of relationship with other political groupings, do not be uh, absolutist, do not be uh, simply I'm a Green Party and I cannot compromise and I'm not being critical of them but I think in this context where we have an opportunity, biggest turnout, surging Green Power, goodness, in the context of nationalism and populism, imagine if the Greens were to align themselves with the left and the centre, what kind of opportunity that would create in Europe to really create a tidal wave of change and citizens thinking this project is for us, rather than the project constantly responding to Orban or others in the East, the Green could create, the, they could become kingmakers with others and create a very different kind of Europe. I hope they listen to that message rather than simply operate against party lines.